is regarded as a necessary accompaniment to food by Italians. Every region has its own gems and sometimes to a visitor the entire country seems like a vast vineyard. I was once told by an Italian that wines are a bit like their own regional cooking and he would never dream of drinking a wine from Piemonte with a Sicilian meal. I am fortunately not that fussy. I'm in Barbaresco and this really is my favorite region not only because it's a nice place to be in but also it produces some of my favorite reds the Barolo, Barbaresco, Sori San Lorenzo you name it and the Italian Red King is found right here. When Diva opened many years ago my restaurant in New Delhi it was so hard to find a decent bottle of red and today I'm mighty pleased to say that all the kings of red especially of this area, can be found in every restaurant in all the metros in India. If I was to cover all the wine producing regions of just Italy, I think we would be on a two month road trip. I would be quite happy to do so, but I'm not too sure about my producer. But this is not too bad a start. Another thing I love about Barbaresco, apart from the wines, is this amazing restaurant called Antica Torre, where I'm waiting for my friend Gaia. Finalmente, I've been waiting for you for <laughs> over Welcome. half an hour now. Eh? You have no sense of timing at all. But the good part is, I ate something nice whilst I was waiting. I saw. Gaia Gaia is the daughter of Angelo Gaia, the revolutionary winemaker from Piemonte. Named after her grandmother, she does have wine running in her blood. Yes, a good Barolo, of course. This pasta is what I love the most about this restaurant. They do the finest tallarine in the region. A handmade pasta normally tossed either in meat sauce or porcini mushroom sauce. This is also known as Tayarin Riki, pasta for the rich, since it's loaded with egg yolks. It is said that this pasta was invented when Italian women made meringue. What to do with all the yolks? Just make Tayarin. The change that's taking place in India, it's fantastic. I cannot even explain to you. Yeah. An Indian does not blink his eyelids before ordering a wine which cost maybe 25,000 rupees. <laughs> This is just this is worth coming here for. If this glass of wine is nectar for gods, then truly this Tayarin pasta is a meal for a diva. I ate here five years ago and was completely bowled over by the pasta. And I must admit, it is still as good. That was such a nice lunch and now I need to walk off those 2000 calories. More so because another wine tasting session awaits me. Today I am in the wineries of Gaia. In my opinion, they produce all the king wines of Nebbiolo. Sori San Lorenzo, Costa Rossi, Barbaresco, Barolo, you name it. Let's put it this way, out of my top 10 wines, 5 are produced here. And today is my lucky day. It's all about Joom Barabar, Joom Sharabi because I am going in for a tasting. I'm no wine snob and for me tasting does not mean you take a sip and spit it out. I'm going to drink it all. Gaia is playing the role of a winemaker to the hilt. Just look at her, checking the grapes, smelling them. Wow, that's a class act. Ritu. My God, what a difficult life you have. Ciao. Sitting and choosing the grapes by yourself and next thing I will see you jumping over the grapes in the old-fashioned way and making the wines, eh? This is the, the biggest privilege that the producer has, to taste the grapes before it so, becomes wine. Since I'm your guest today, do I share this privilege with you? Come on, go yeah? ahead. 